Good day, this is Brer Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. We all know by now that we gotta keep on digging for the truth. But what truth are we looking for? Did you know that the church is under control of the CBS? A carnal, blind system. And what I mean by that is that so many people are focusing right now on the election of President Trump. Now, he is right, he is not right, whatever people are thinking, he is indeed the subject of a deep discovery, that he has been blinded by the CBC as well, because what is the CBC? I'm not talking about the broadcast station, I am talking about the church under control of a carnal blind system, principles that we used to have when we grew up seems to be now out of the window. We don't have principles anymore, or the principles we have we don't like, and therefore, screw everyone, we just change it overnight, or we don't care, we do what we want, as long as we get the money. Wow, that is a great institute, as long as we get the money. Isn't that a poor perception of life? Indeed, there is a lot going on this year. And what is the difference today? Let your creativity soar. Why major church leaders wear wigs? Yes, folks, they are sheep in wolf's clothing. Brian Caleb will be dealing with those concepts. Why? Because I had to fight it personally a very long time. So what is the difference between ADD and ORD? ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, and Obsessive Relationship Disorder. I noticed that going over my statistics that the ADD question had a lot of watchers. People viewed it and wanted to know what I thought about it or what my comments were. Can ADD be cured? I believe ADD can be dealt with. And why am I saying that? We had some dealings with this ourselves in our family. Our firstborn, a beautiful little kid, passed away in my arms when he was seven months old. And one of the problems he was facing was potentially ADD because it was so quick and so short they didn't want to go into it. But my whole life, I've always been open a very tenant hard. Yes, folks, it is sad. We all have a hole in our life. If you have been lo around long enough, but some people are born with a hole in the heart. My little boy was that way. And some other people have that same problem. A little hole, a little sadness, something that carries on, maybe for a prolonged period of time. But in the same process, do you know that you can do something about it? I started talking about actually what is the difference between ADHD, ADD and ORD, Obsessive Religious Disorder. For a very long time I've been wondering about it, sometimes I was disgusted, sometimes I was mad, and when I say mad, mad at God, or the concept that there was a God looking down on us, till I understood that by studying, going to school, going to the universities, going to the colleges first actually, and then the university courses and everything, that there is more to it. Because the problem that most of us have is that we don't realize that we gotta do something ourselves. That is why the major question is, what is the difference between ADD and ORD. I come back to the conclusion, actually not the conclusion, but back to the basics. The basics are that I wrote a book, and the book is published on Amazon, and it's called Deception Protocol for the Prodigal Son Blueprint. And later on, I started this book, and I simplified it, Deception Protocol Simplified, because I realized that everything we do is based on a few the things that we are discussing are politics, money management, money, 
and spirituality or religion. And why am I saying that? I discovered, and remember, uh, this is something that you should know as well. I was born in 1950. This video is made in 2020. So that means I am 70 years of age. And there are certain things you learn as you progress in life. You're supposed to learn that. When you start off as a little baby, you have no idea. Because it's a cold, cruel world. But if you have loving parents, that is wonderful. But if you don't, or if your life expectation is cut short, which we have experienced as our little boy, then life changes for the people that are surrounding you. It affects everyone. And that is part of why I keep on referring to the body of Christ, believers that together, PMS, we are a group of people that have certain rules put in place, whether we like it or not, or whether we have been manipulated, we don't know. But you are facing them, and as we are facing them, we got to deal with it. My question is simply, how did the body of Christ come in existence? If we are dealing with ADD and ORD, then we like to know what is the body that we are dealing with, what is the, the receiver, what is the, the thing that's holding that. And that we call the body of Christ. Initially, the body of Christ was never set up by God the Father. It was a strategy of Satan. Whoa, where do you get this from? I know that some of you guys are maybe fascinated, others are maybe disgusted. But that hole that you have in your heart that we started with, that is something that I'm dealing with right now. This is tough, folks. And tough times never last, but tough people do. So pay attention. If you really want to know, stay with me. Professor John Elgro quoted saying that the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls revealed overwhelming evidence and may upset a great many basic teachings of the Christian Church. This was in August of 1966, issues of Harper Magazine. So I checked it out. I thought, what is the Harper's Magazine? And a few very interesting pictures showed up 
and people that you might recognize. We'll deal with that and we'll show you some of those. So besides the regular stuff about a professor, there was also some mundane stuff that they talked about. ADD stands for Attention Deficit Disorder. For those that have it, you know exactly what is happening. It is also a subtype of ADHD. Officially, ADD is called an Attention Deficit Disorder with Hyperactivity, predominantly in attention type. In other words, you have not really a strong feel for attention. There is a reduced concentration. Unfortunately, it's not only in kids. ADD uh, also occurs regularly in adults. In a group, people with ADD symptoms often feel out of place because too many stimuli comes in. In other words, they get too much information. Information through the ears, ears, through the eyes, through the nose, through the mouth. If you taste, if you smell, you hearing, uh, too many sounds can be destructive. And they are insecure and have often left different from childhood. Not left, felt different. Many used to be bullied at school. Now, bullying is something else. Some people will may notice that just because you're a little different, people will come after you. There's no need for that. And I would recommend if you're listening and watching, you can do something about it. Not by hitting by doing something mentally and spiritually. We will deal with that. Some people as adults, they will notice that they're forgetful, chaotic, due to poor short-term memory, have a bad overview over difficult times, prioritizing more for sleep. Uh, they don't know exactly how to do all those things. They are very thorough in thinking and acting, and this can lead to broad basedness. And when I say basedness, I mean baseness. People can be very brass sometimes in their actions and they don't mean to because they have just a difficulty expressing their feelings. And that is how other people don't see them. They respond, they jump on it because you're not quick enough to say something because you're special. And see, that's what I mean with a hole in your heart. Sometimes there are things that happen that you don't know how to express. Sometimes you just have a feeling and that feeling is what makes you uncomfortable. But you can do something about it, folks. You have to be very careful, of course, what kind of a position you want to have in life. Some people go in politics like Mr. Trump and then he gets attacked on it because it seems that he has those moments. There are times that people like to make fun of someone because he cannot act a proper way. Well, sometimes it's also smart not to be in that position because of an ego that is so big that it has to fill, and we call it a narcissist, a flower, but it is also a narcissistic feeling. People want to be praised constantly because they were put down as a kid. Now, we all have experienced that, and that's why I'm talking about the whole in your life. We all can make some music if we want to. We can be pleasant. But what is the reason that we have ADD and ORD? See, ORD is Obsessive Religious Disorder. The ADD is something that doctors are still working on, scientists are still trying to figure out, parents that have gone through it. And I was told by the doctor when he heard about the fact that our son had passed away, he said, maybe that was for the good for you folks. And both my wife and I were very upset because we were told that our child had a Down syndrome. And that would be very hard. And those that are dealing with that issue they know what I'm talking about. And those that don't have some compassion with others. But I tell you, folks, when you have a hole in your heart which our little boy had, I've been thinking about that often. What does that really mean in our life spiritually? Because as much as we have a physical life, we have a body where we move in, where we feel, where all our emotions are encapsulated, we have also a spiritual spiritual being. That spirit is something that not too many people
And those that are teaching us, the church, they have it quite often wrong. So you have to go back to the basics. Now, obsessive religious disorder is not that you're so-called hallelujah the whole time and you see a monster or something yucky behind every door, but you have been manipulated. Manipulation is something people are very strong in. Groups of people that want you to do something that can be in politics, it can be in money, and it can be in spirituality. Spirituality or religion are unfortunately those parts where people are most vulnerable. If you're sick or if you are beholden of, or if something is happening in your life that's holding you back, then in a church you're supposed to be accepted. That is what we are saying in 2020. But do you know what happened when Yeshua, Jesus, known to many, when he came and started recognizing that God was one God and he reconnected with God and God was so impressed and said, well done, you good and faithful servant. And he called him his son, the son of God. All of a sudden, there was a way, there was a path we could follow that path, and as we were following, we would see the changes in us. And you know what that way is? The way was from the physical, where we could go to the spiritual, where we could go and get connected. Now, connection is something that you most likely know. There are people that you connect with. Sometimes you see someone only for a moment. I met my wife 45 years ago. Just the way she was standing there, I was introduced to her and I asked her a question and immediately it clicked. See, what a lot of people don't realize, when you meet someone for the first time, there is not only a physical attraction, but there is a spiritual attraction, something you can't see. That is the spirit that's connecting with the other person and telling you inside of your heart. This is a good person to go on, to go and hang around with or stay away from. Some people know when you watch your dog, I had a boxer, and when he saw someone for the first time and his hair stood straight up, I knew that was a bad dude. You know why I knew that? Because I went out with some of those people regardless and discovered that they were bad individuals. So when my dog started warning me, and growling, you know, and his hair was straight up, I knew, be careful, don't hang around with that person. Now the same is that spirit of God inside of you. When I met my wife, we had a connection. We also prayed together. That is maybe very unusual when you meet someone for the first time. But it's a good thing. Because with that we invited God Almighty also to be part of our relationship. And now 45 years later I can say that we've been married now for 44 years. I have wonderful kids. We have gone through our ups and downs like many. And talking about that song, we all have a hole in our life. I can tell you the terrible things and you should buy my book. It's on Amazon. But the reality is, in the beginning, it was a healing process for me, writing the book. It took me seven years. And as I wrote, I came to the understanding that there is that spiritual aspect. How am I going to get that message through? And that can only be done by talking about it, sharing. My spirit will hopefully connect with your spirit as you're watching this video. I don't know where you are. I know there are some people in Finland. There are some people in Canada. There are some people in South America, in Indonesia, in Taiwan. I don't know where you are. In Europe, maybe even in Holland where I am at the moment. But the video will also give you the vibes. That's maybe not a terminology. That it is not just rowdy dowdy singing a song and, rah, and we're gonna party but there is more there is a connection a physical but a spiritual connection that is how we can fill the hole by listening to each other finding that there are more important things in life that can fill that hole that pain that hurt sometimes it can be physical pain 
but often it is pain in your heart because something happened. Maybe you went through the pandemic, you lost your job. Maybe you had other things that you went through or maybe somebody passed away. Maybe there are other things that I don't know and I don't need to know because I know out of experience, whatever it is, it is big enough for you to be upset about, to have the pain in your soul. That hole can be completed. There can be a song in your life again, but you need to focus on something, folks. And one of them is to quiet down. Turn off that TV. When I turned off my TV, I discovered something. There came peace in my family room. My wife felt more comfortable because it is just the two of us. And the beauty of it is that now I can live without a TV, without all the noise, and I have time to relax and to seek the presence of the Lord. And you know where he is? His kingdom is in your life. But we need to understand that so that there is more than obsessive religious disorder. The churches that are putting the onus on you, just this and this and this and this, it's good to get started to get an understanding. But remember, you are a child of God. You are in the beginning, like me, a prodigal son, because you're disconnected from God the Father. And we can now be restored, it's called the restorative justice, so that we can be connected with God again, have the peace in our soul, and that will confirm that you are that special person. There can be a song in the whole of your life, so that you don't have to worry, but you know that you know that you know. God bless you. And remember, tough times, folks, never last, but tough people do. Bye for now.